They have marine life from all around the world. Papa might like to see that too, don't you think? Yay! Miracle Aquarium? I hope to see you there. Huh? A one-of-a-kind traveling aquarium. Only open for a limited time. All ages are welcome. Huh. Is there some kind of show in town? Wait. It's you! Yasuda-san from the circus! Huh? Oh, Kasuka-san, what a surprise! Pull me over. Kasuka-san, what, what a crazy coincidence. You're on vacation, are you? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. So you're running an aquarium here now? What happened to the animal show? Well, remember how you helped me out in Japan? I took some time to reflect on my business after that. <laughs> you taught me a valuable lesson about delegation. Let others do the work and simply reap the dividends. Now my staff handles the circus. Really, Kasuga-san, I'm grateful. You opened my eyes. <laughs> All right, good for you. Glad to hear the circus lives on. Oh, yes. In fact, it was during the last tour that I met an American with some show business contacts. Hawaii's a ripe spot for an aquarium, he told me. Tourists and exotics see things for days. Then he offered me a stake in it. I suppose there was no concealing my passion for animals. <laughs> oh, wow. What'd you do? I finished my drink, ordered quite a few more, then paid him every last yen I had to invest. Now, once this show starts to really take off, I'll tour the entire country with it. <laughs> well, try to take it one step at a time, yeah? Don't let things get out of hand. That's good advice. However, Kostasan, sometimes it's better to just stomp on the gas and go crazy, don't you think? Anyhow, I've got to go get everything set up. An aquarium needs its fish. Goodbye for now, Kasuga-san. Come see the show when we're open. Yeah, sure. Man, he's still headstrong. Oh, well, it's not like fish ever mauled anybody, right? Traveling aquarium, huh? Maybe I'll check it out if I have the time. Pissing me off. The battle is on. Let's get it done. Okay, I'm up. You want some of this? Oh, yeah. 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 Looks like I'm up. That one, huh? Mm -hmm. Don't get caught. Oh, is it go time? Now that's 
Feeling good. Let's go. That's picking time. Hey. Run on home to mama. Let's do it. Break yourself! 
Accept thy end in peace. <laughs> 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 Another one in the bag. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Sup? Sup? <laughs> Welcome! Wow. Yes!
Got this, Akari. I love you, you Lorasan. I would really ask you to um date with me. Oh. Yeah, by which I mean have a date with me. Uh, go out dating with me. Um, you have to date me uh, forever. Uh, easy, easy. Calm yourself and don't repeat yourself. Uh, I'm very. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I... Well, I appreciate the sentiment. I do, Ikari-san. You deserve to know the honest truth, however. I respect the courage you've shown here. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure thing. And I... I should show some courage of my own. I owe it to everyone. Laura-chan? Oh? Kasuka-san, I love you! Uh. <laughs> what? What? You see, I told myself it would be wrong to mix professional and personal feelings. But when Akari-san opened himself up just now, I realized I can no longer deny what my heart is saying. To be honest, I'd worry about losing the respect of such a valued co-worker as Ikari-san if I didn't face the truth. No, I'd be just fine with it. I swear. Come on, Laura John. I, I mean, why me? <laughs> I've always loved sweet, sincere, hardworking men. In fact, that's what drew me to becoming a receptionist here. Admittedly, I've made mistakes and ended up in relationships with students in the past. What? Lord John, you never told me you've had prior relationships. And just as I was getting over my previous affairs, you walked through our doors, Kasuga-san. You're so effortlessly cool. You're one of our smartest students, and watching you apply yourself on every exam was just... <sighs> breathtaking. I've got way more certifications than this idiot! You want cool? How's that for cool? Ikari-san, I'm sorry, but you're just not my type. Besides, aren't you always telling me how strict office harassment protocols are? Kasuga-san, uh, I adore you! Please, unless um, I'm not worthy? No, it's not that. Lord John, you're amazing. You're way too good for me, even. Kasuga, I'll bury you! You haven't seen the last of Ikari! Uh, Ikari, wait a second! Kasuga-san? Uh, Lord John, hold on. This way, I've got someone else. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I'm rank one on our polyamory certification. You can have both of us without any jealousy. What the hell kind of certification is that? Oh, Nabara. It means the great wild ocean will certify anything. Whoa, well, okay. Wonderful, Kasuga-san. Your passion for broadening your horizons is... undeniable. As for the Laura exam, I award you third rank. Thanks. I'm honored. 
Let's both do our best to help you reach rank two. I look forward to seeing you again. Oh, looking at her, you never know how educated she is. Kasuga! Huh? Whoa, 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 Akari! I I'm sorry, okay? Please, calm down! The time for forgiveness is over! Now, to put my ace machine gun in certification to use! Fraternize in hell, you bastard! Oh, you got the good come from studying after all! What are you looking at? Hey, you! Naito, I am up to you. Okay, you, you asked for it. <laughs> wow. Goodbye. Hmm. Hmm? Funny to think that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh well. No way that'll happen. <laughs> Wait, did I hear right? If they just got some electricity into the open socket, they'd be usable? Could be. The levers are rusted over, though, so there'd be no way to control them. It'd be one nasty event if that. Whoa. What? Whoa! What's a sea cucumber doing here?
Oh no! Those damn electric catfish flew right into the open battery sockets! Lamb John, don't you dare discharge! Hey! Damn it, you're supposed to be professionals! Kasuga-san, you've got to help! Please, stop those machines somehow! And don't let Lamb John or Loon John get hurt! Oh, come on! Why is it always like this? Every time! Fine! 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 What's one more boss fight? Yasuda-san, how are the catfish? They're all right. A little punch drunk, but no worse for wear. That's... that's good. Glad they're okay. Hey, come look over here! <laughs> come on! It's absolutely sick! Is this the electrifying show from the Flyers? That was astonishing! Huh? I wondered why they were putting those old excavators up. I had no idea it was for such a wild stunt. <laughs> hey! I want to see it again! Zap, zap, pow! It was so cool! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed our free exhibition ceremony. I thank you all for attending. The Miracle Aquarium itself will open to audiences in good time. Please make sure to return. Oh, let's go, let's go! It'll be a great story to tell back home. If it's as hyped as that preview, I'll see it twice. We'll be there. Here, boss. Right this way. We set the excavators up nice and prominently, just like you asked. I'm sure you're gonna love this. Hmm. Ah, huh. a lot of people out here, isn't there? Only one reason that could be. <laughs> Guess our hard work really paid off. This will be a fitting monument for our prestigious company. <laughs> well, these old models are legends, after all. <laughs> it's only natural people would want to, uh, see, uh, them. Oh. 
Oh, it can't be! No! What? But this can't be! The excavators, they're burning! You went above and beyond this time, Kasuga-san. I owe you everything. This is hardly enough to repay you, but I hope you accept it. Even in Hawaii, Kasuga-san, you've managed to save my life and livelihood. I just might have. Please, be more careful from now on. You're right. Truthfully, I may be in just a bit over my head here in this foreign nation. The thing is, it's so important to me that the show stays affordable, even to folks from less affluent families. I thought that if I skipped on safety regulations and things like that, I could keep costs down, and even the poorest child could see something spectacular. That's... kind of you? Listen, even back in Yokohama, I admired the passion you had for entertaining people. All else aside, that's admirable. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I believe that you can't excite an audience unless you're excited yourself as ringleader. I want to run shows that are truly unique. Beasts of the land, fish of the sea, whatever attraction I have is going to be one of a kind. That's never going to change. <laughs> all right, all right. Do your best out there. Just don't forget that safety's important, too. Yes, sir. Now, let's go get you fitted for a top hat, Kaskasan. Okay, what? You're in, too, aren't you? To run new animal shows with me? Wait, hold on. When did I agree to that? You saw how your electrified excavator brawl drew in the public? Hasuga-san, you're a born showman! Let's have you beat up every fish in the ocean! We're sitting on a gold mine here! Don't you get it? We'll be the greatest traveling act in history! Come on! The entertainment world waits for no one. This is how stars are made. Jeez, slow down a second. Show's over, man. I'm out. No, oh, don't go yet! Kasuga-san! Suspicious ships. Something that comes by regularly. Maybe loads up on supplies and centers. You can't think of anything, Takata? I haven't seen you in how long, and now this? Are you some undercover cop, man? We don't have time to waste. Can you think of anything or not? Uh, there's one boat like that, maybe. Docks about every two weeks. Showed up again this morning. Shit, for real? It's here? Now? Yeah, no one's there, though. Crew's out at the moment. Perfect timing, then. Can you show it to us? I guess so. Follow me. I gotta say, this was damn good thinking, Tomazawa. Hey, I've always said I got connections. So, uh, Tomi and you go back a while? Yeah, maybe. Couple of Japanese boys who can't shake each other. Oh, really? Well, same to you, asshole. <laughs> so, why has it been so long since you came around last? Kasuga-san here probably knows you better than me now. According to him, you two are good buddies. Hey, lay off. It all worked out, didn't it? Takata-san? Yeah. 
How did you know my name? Uh, uh, you introduced yourself. No, I didn't. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, it's Kata? What the hell is this? Heretics, may the flames purify you in death. Come on! You're all Polycana? Seriously? Madam Nele, bless us in this endeavor. I'll bury you! All right, let's go. Okay, I'm up. Who the worst? Let's go. You're in it now. We get scared. This is gonna hurt. Who the worst? No stain, no blood. <laughs> Damn it! When'd you join Palakata? When? From my very first breath, you faithless bastard. Palakata is everywhere. All of Hawaii is brimming with the devout. And those of us righteous enough to be named Haku are all around you. Seeds sown in the soil, waiting for the bloom that will cleanse this fetid land. You're a Haku? Haku are in the city. They're not just all holed up at Nelly Island. Remember what Dana said at the orphanage? That's Bryce's strategy. Deploy the Haku like sleeper agents throughout the state. So they could be anywhere at any time? This is bullshit! The Sage's will is inescapable. There'll be no refuge for the damned. May it be. Madam Nele, embrace us all. What? Hey, hey, Takata! The hell? He just... It must be some kind of poison capsule or something. Bryce! He's completely insane! He doesn't care who he sacrifices. Just to stay the man in charge! I'm not seeing any cargo ships, by the way. And I bet the cops are coming fast. We need to back off for now. <sighs> Fine. Uh-uh. Miss Madam Nele, or whoever's up there, don't be too hard on the guy. Yo. Come on, tough guy. The battle is on. Okay, I'm up. Let's it's see you fly. Hold up, let's see you fly. Let's see you fly. Let's 
gonna die. Let's see you again. Break yourself. Except I can't. Let's see you try. Looks like I'm up. Ready when you come at Here I come. Nice. Think I'm getting better at this. I'll kick you down and ready to rumble. Full power. Don't touch me. We need to be strong. Yo. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yo.
I'll sue you! Right, time to throw down! Full power! <laughs> Yes, I'm a fast learner. Wrench. 
with you. I'll sue you. Now you're going down. Full power. Brace yourself! Let's do it! Full power! <laughs> We're in a pinch here, aren't we, guys? I can't believe Bryce is so many steps ahead of us. Yeah, but like, why now? Huh? If Lonnie's on Nale Island, it doesn't make sense to spread out like this. I mean, if I were Bryce, why move my best people to the mainland now? You should be playing defensively, protecting what he already has. Might have a point there. Is it possible that Lonnie's still in Honolulu somehow? That makes sense. If they haven't moved her to the island yet, Palakana's still vulnerable. And since we're running around all over the place, they need guard dogs to hold us back. An astute observation. Impressive, oh. Kasuga-san. However, it might behoove you to lower your voice. Junki! <laughs> hey, when did you fly in? Hello. <laughs> hmm. I confess, it's been too long since I've gotten so much sun. It's a pleasure to meet you both, Jungi Han. I'm the Komijul organization's right hand. Kasuga-san and I met there. So he's not an enemy? Um, guess not. Now then, shall we catch up? Sonny is always asking about your well-being. In spite of her demeanor, she's something of a busybody. Sunny, huh? She's still in Ijinsha with Kiryu-san and Namba now, right? Indeed. They're in touch with Zhao as well. That's why Sunny decided Hawaii would be a more useful place for me. I arrived two days ago. No kidding. Where you been for 48 hours? Carrying out my orders. Determining Nele Island's means of transportation. Hold on. You've been after their cargo ships too? Yes. If their shutters were to come down now, the game would be over. Therefore, Palikana's point of access must be found immediately. Such are Sunhi's instructions. Then we're on the same page. Well then, were you able to find their ships? Please, take a look at this. I retrieved this photo by hacking into a government satellite. I'll keep which nation a secret. This is Nelly Island, here. That's it? Nelly Island? Yesterday, this ship was photographed departing from the island's port. Advancing the time, we can follow its route across the sea. Until finally, it docks on our island here. Considering its size, it must be a cargo transport. Knowing what we know, I expect Lonnie will be aboard when it next embarks. Where's the ship now? Honolulu Bay, somewhere out of sight beneath the cliffs. Wherever it is they dock their ships, Palikana was smart to keep it obscured. As of now, the boat seems to still be safe in harbor. 
which means that Lonnie is as well. All right, let's get to that dock. When Lonnie shows up, we'll intercept them and get her back. That would be a fine plan, but the cliffs are 200 meters tall with almost a 90 degree ascent. Even for an expert climber, that would be a challenge. And what about Palacana? They must have a way to get cargo on board. I would presume there to be a concealed pathway to the harbor from land. Unfortunately, I've been unable to find even a hint of such a thing in the photos. Were I to guess, could be located underground. Somewhere below street level. <gasps> what is it, Chichan? Remember back when I went to District 5 on my own? Yeah, that was just after you left me naked on the beach, right? I didn't ask you to remember that part. Anyway, we took the subterranean path to Dwight's hotel to get there. Along the way, I saw the route branch off in another direction. What's that way? I asked, and the Barracuda with me just said, Nothing. You didn't see that. Back then, I didn't want to think too much about it. That could be it! That could be exactly what we're looking for! Rice owns the Barracudas, so it only makes sense they'd run that tunnel. I know you're all excited. But District 5 again? Every time we go there, I eat shit. If it's any consolation, we're gonna eat shit everywhere in town now. Ugh, the undercover cultists. God damn it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Wouldn't you rather die trying? <sighs> Fine. What's one more ass kicking if it wins us the war? Attaboy. <laughs> I must say, Kasuga-san, you remain a curious fellow. Everywhere you go, you're able to attract the most dangerous foes and most reliable allies. I envy you. And to be honest, I could do without the foes. Anyway, man, Polycana really needs to get theirs. Are you flying back soon? Not at all. If you're willing to have me, I'd be glad to rejoin the party. Oh, hell yeah! I was hoping you'd say that! Kasuga-san. Sup? Understood. Okay. I'm feeling a drizzle out. Whoa, a squall? It's pouring out. I'm completely soaked. Uh, no point in buying an umbrella now. You're right. Hmm. There's an idea. Buy some shampoo now and save on your water bill. Are you that hard up? Nah, June Gee, squalls like these pass quick. You'd have no time to rinse. Plus, my hair takes a number of other treatments. Oh, well, not to be. If you're that particular, why would you even consider washing outside?
ありがとうね Nice going out there. Okay, call me crazy, but something about Ichiban's been uh, hotter lately. Hotter my ass. You're probably just feeling the weather. Hawaii is a lot warmer than Japan. <sighs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm talking about passion here. You know, a fiery spirit. Ah, you think so? Well, maybe this new environment brought something out in me. All right. If anyone's got any problems, don't hesitate to tell your pal Ichiban. I'll rip each of those problems a brand new asshole! Okay, passion's fine and all, but you might want to simmer down. If you go burning out of control there, we might just collapse from heat stroke. Oh, but isn't that part of his charm? 